Well, hello, friends and followers. Here is a venerable and <clears throat> famous R4B that I've been working on. <clears throat> this is the one that was the tar ball because the transformer melted down. Anyway, I did put a new transformer in here, but it didn't seem to have enough capacity to run the tubes and the V+. It got very, very hot. So I was going to put a transformer right here, but it didn't fit. I did order a transformer and it came in a few days ago. I've been busy, but I did try today to put the transformer right here. It kind of hit that tube and didn't fit. So, well, where did you think I put the transformer? It's installed the radio. It's not on the top. So, well, it's on the bottom. So let's take a look at where it went. Let me turn this thing over. Oh, and by the way, I now have calibrate working. And that calibrate <coughs> needs 12 volts AC to work the calibrate board. So you're wondering, where did you get the uh, 12 volts when this transformer is only putting out 6 volts? So, yep, the other transformer. Let's go take a look. Without me getting shocked. Jeez. All right, finally it's flipped over. Can you see the transformer where it is? Yep, you're right. The transformer is right there. So I simply connected up that transformer's primary to the uh, primary of the big transformer here. And the secondary, I grounded that end of it there. And this six volt is going to, there's two six volt taps here for each half of the radio. This transformer is now powering, uh, I, I don't know it's powering half the tubes, but it's powering a number of them. And this 12 volt line is going right to the calibrator and I made the wire too short. So I put the uh, wire right on the 150 ohm resistor on the calibrator and that has a diode and rectifier built in for the uh, calibrator. So that's what's happening. We now have 12 volts AC from this little transformer here going right into the uh, calibrator. So the calibrator is working. So this thing will put in about an amp, I think center tap. I wonder how it's going to hold up. It's getting a little warm here. We'll see how it holds up. Let the radiator run for an hour. See how hot things are. Anyway, that's where I put it. Um, you may say, how did you find room? Well, this board here was standing up straight. This board here was pretty much vertical over there. So I simply unscrewed the board and moved it over to here. And I didn't use any screws. I didn't really want to be drilling holes in the radio, so I uh, ended up soldering all the stuff to the radio, which is uh, pretty brutalist, but that's how I did it. I'll show you that real quick without getting a shock, maybe. All right, so there's the uh, little board that I moved. This little board was, was over here somewhere. I just unscrewed it and routed the wires underneath this uh, switch here and then soldered the wires back onto the board. This board runs the uh, little orange receive light too. That's on the uh, dial here. Anyway, it's now soldered on directly to the uh, chassis. That's one good thing about this copper chassis is you can solder to it. So. I did use a big heat gun here, that thing down there, and uh, was able to solder those lugs on without screws, which made me happy. And the transformer, okay, talk about brutalist architecture. Here's the transformer here that I installed, and I was going to remove the front panel and put in screws and all that crap, and I thought, you know what, I don't want to do that, so I just soldered this thing in too and it actually stuck. I was really happy about that. So that thing is really in there. Um, if you gotta take the VFO out, it's gonna be difficult. You'll have to unsolder the transformer, but that's the way it is. It's soldered in there now. And this one is 12 volts AC going to the calibrator board. 
This wire here is six volts going to one of the taps down in here for the uh, half of the tubes in the radio. Um, this is grounded directly to ground, so it kind of goes ground. Six volts, 12 volts, 12 volts to the uh, to the calibrator, and this six volts runs half the tubes. The uh, primary transformer here runs the other half of the tubes, and it runs B plus, and it also runs. Um, bias with the uh, center tap. So that's how the radio is running now. I'm not sure how well this is going to go because I've not given it a uh, longevity test here, but I hope this thing doesn't get too hot. I guess we'll see what it does. I tried to make it also so it wouldn't smack the bottom and shock anybody. I put the primaries with 110 volts uh, on the other side here, and these are, if they do ever touch, they're low voltage. So that's, and they have the heat shrink on them, but I don't think those are... Uh, no, they're not going to hit, so it's all good. So this radio, I guess, now is done. Uh, done as far as the electrics are done with it. Um, and I've been using it for testing the uh, Central Electronics 100B for receiving on that thing and listening to people talking on the air. Yeah, it's a good little radio. Good, It's a good R4B. I got all the crystals in here now and marked. Um, I didn't want to run it forever on this Justice Transformer, so I think now I can maybe not worry so much and run it on two transformers and see how that works. Again, this one's running the uh, calibrator, which is no big deal, and it's running half the tubes, I think. So I'm not sure which tubes. I, I hope the uh, the uh, audio output tube is not on this transformer, but eh, I guess we'll see how it, how it works out. Time to, uh, time to turn the radio on now and let it run and heat up and see how it goes. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Again, this is the R4B now with two power transformers installed. Take care.